we ready? Are we ready with the right side? Are we? What's going on, beautiful people? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's going on, beautiful people? Look, we're back in the shop. It's been so long. It's been... I forgot what side I was meant to be on. So it's been a month since I saw you pretty much, but it's been like maybe six since we escaped? I think it's been a long time, isn't six it? Six is probably too... I don't know. Probably about what six What was the months. last one? I don't, come over here, look. Come oh, on. Am I you, not in, I can't people, see the thing. People want to see you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, today we're escaping what you can see behind us. So it's a three foot tank. It's currently got a little setup. Hang on. Yeah, it's currently got a little setup in the map, did, didn't you? Just to yeah. showcase these uh, rock thingies from yeah, yeah. Oase. Because they're not real. Look. Look at this. What are they made of, Matt? They're like a resin, I think. Like a, yeah, it's just like a poured resin. Awesome. And look, you just get an instant effect. But we're not doing that, are we? Well, I don't know. We could just fill that up and go to the pub. No, we can't. We could, but this video <laughs> would be over in about a minute. <laughs> Water, fish, pub, done. No, um, yeah, we're going to take all that out and do something different. That won't take long, will it? No, no, no. The white sand's quite nice. I think that's... Uh, to be left in, don't you reckon? It, what, just to make it easier, getting it out? No. You lazy, lazy <laughs> bum. <laughs> no, that white would uh, would not fare well in a planted tank, would I don't it? think it would, would it? No, not with what we've... Especially what... with that decent light as well. Yeah. You know, so th are we going to use this light? Yeah, yeah. We've got, we've got... So it depends on what plants we end up going for, but we've got the one uh, fluval light. We have got the other fluval light that was on the oak tank that was here. Yeah. So both of them are the same size. So we could do double... I don't think light. we're going to need that. Double oh, maybe, plant light. Maybe later on. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so what is this? What is the tank? Uh, Aquamarin 900 um, planter. So it's like an open top scaper aquarium. Same one as you've got, or the two that you've got. Yeah, uh, we've just, done the, just the three foot instead. How long ago? Long time ago. Two months? Yeah, one month. Been. It's month? probably the longest Some time I've spent away from you. I feel like I feel like I lost my right arm. Yeah, and I've just been sat crying in my studio on my own. <laughs> We're back now. Okay, so open it up because it's quite nice inside as well. Is it? I don't know. No, I, no, I mean you've got stuff. I mean the set, not not the storage stuff. But yeah. the, the way it's laid out is actually really yeah. good. You've got this shelf up here, which is perfect for your plugs on, which you, you currently aren't using. Oh, because you set it up behind there already, didn't well, you? Yeah, but we'll be using it in a bit. We were just going to pop it through, so we just put it down there so we could get the lights on on the weekend. So we'll keep using the Oase. Absolutely, as well. yeah, we've got yeah. Everything there really. We've got so on. much filter floss because my staff <laughs> members keep losing bags of filter floss, so they keep opening new ones. And then Martin found all the bags of filter floss. So yeah, that was fun. I do. All the filter floss. So we don't actually know definitely the fish selection yet, and it's could be quite important depending on what we pick on how we scape it. So Matt, should we just go and have a quick look, yeah. decide on some fish, and then we'll get started with escape. We've not even forgotten what? <laughs> <laughs> not even forgotten the flow. Is she? She's here. She's just at the back. She's I feeding actually, the fish. In today's video that's about to come out, um, they would have seen it now, but I actually made the flow joke to myself. <laughs> it didn't I'm, feel the same. I made a new one the other day. I made a new one because I, I was doing plant preparation. I was like, I'm going to go get a tray. I need to go oh, get a tray. And then tray? I went, Oh, crazy, yeah. I think that was the one we forgot that time. Oh, maybe. Because we were like, what was that one? Anyway, yeah, it might have been no, Trey. No one cares. No one cares, no. <laughs> no one cares about our awful dad jokes. So, I don't know. What are we thinking? Oh, hi, Cheryl. Okay. <laughs> There's so many cool fish, I'm not sure. Yeah, so straight away you were drawn over to this section. I mean, I like these, but I don't think we can do escape for that, can we? No, in an open top, they might end up on the floor. Yeah, and yeah. when I say might, they will. They are going to come out. <laughs> yeah. they're, they're going to come Is out. Is that just because the speed, they're weather loaches, by the way, the yes. speed that they shoot up the glass? Yeah, they do, and they get they get funny in different um, like weathers and stuff, and they can get a little bit more active, and yeah, I just think they'd end up on the floor, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm... There's so many things. Barbs, rainbows. So, I mean, you know I love my rainbows. Yeah. And these got... ones up here are, are pretty nice, aren't they? These yeah. Bozemans. They're, uh, obviously they're still juvenile, but the coloration, really, really good. Really beautiful, really beautiful. Ooh. But then we've got glass catfish as well. Like we've got a cool little group of glass catfish that I've never done escape for before. Yeah. And so different. People are drawn to them as well because they look a bit weird. This is it. And it's going to be inside the front door. So I think having something either bright and colorful or weird is yeah. probably the two things that you're going to need to hit on. That's, yeah. But we've got like some cool barbs. So we've got like Nariyan. Oh, hang on. Look at What's these that? beauties. Oh, the hump head aqua Acaras. Yeah, they're oh, really they're nice. Lovely. But that tank probably a bit too small. Uh, they're not massive. That's probably fully grown. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's not far off. So, yeah, they could be an option in there as a like as a focal point maybe as a feature fish. Would they go with? They would go with the rainbows. It depends. It's not area specific, but no. 
I'm okay with that because it's a display tank and I've got to stop being so finicky about it. <laughs> yeah, I get what you mean, yeah. Because okay. it's not, even when you say something's from the Amazon, the Amazon is like this big. Yeah, so, so they're never actually No, together. one's from this river and one's from this river, even though it's an Amazon tank. It's, it's still a thousand miles away. Absolutely. <laughs> we forget how big everything is. Um, but these are quite nice. These are Narayani barbs. Yeah, yeah, I do like those. With the and gold. Like, and the rainbows are blinking nice as well. Oh, yeah, we've got the, um, yeah, the red rainbows. Well, oh. they're not. They're millennium rainbows. But. I mean, the rainbows... The the rain shout. I mean, like you said, if you want colour... Yeah, and, and we've got Madagascan rainbows as well, oh, which are a little bit different. Yeah, they're nice. And there's blues in there as well. That's what I was just seeing, the blues. But the Madagascan's the one with the red at the back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. they're really females, nice. I don't know if there is any females in there. Fem females are normally a little bit drama. Um, yeah, there is a few females in there, so... You know, we could... I'm thinking... I'm thinking two types of rainbow. Okay. And then maybe the group of glass cats. You colour. really want the glass cats, well, I'm yeah. thinking colour, colour, weird. Okay, let's do that. Yeah? Yeah, because we could do... Um, that would look really nice in a green tank as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Lots of, lots of yeah, big green plants. Lots of big green plants. They're going to show off, especially these down here, the reds. Yeah. The reds are going to look... Look at that. Look at that one, that male right at the back there, just yeah, and owning there's a it. Good mixture of females and males in there, so... Okay, I think we should go for that. Yeah, I'm down with that. Done. Well, before we do anything, our first job is just to get all of this out and get it clear. Uh, Matthew, this wasn't the plan. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? Hi. <laughs> no, we need to get get it clear. I know. I was going basket oh, to put the plants in. I thought you were just making doing dress up or something. Yeah, it's, not just, it's my cosplay. <laughs> we're empty. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go home more. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking because we're going for rainbows. Yep. We need some tall, tall green plants in that background area. Nice. Yep. Have we got tall green plants? Yeah, we've got some stems over there that would be vaguely tall, but we've also got some really nice Amazon swords that are like oh, yeah. proper chunky. Okay. So they might look quite good, especially if they start sending out runners out the top in a few months' time. Yeah. Um, well, if we're going for that, we need heavy, heavy nutrient system. Yes. Nutribase. Have you got Nutribase? Currently out of stock in the UK. Oh my goodness, yeah. is that my fault? Well, I think so, yeah. But we've not, we have ordered it week in, week out. I'll check that it didn't turn up last week because I doubt, haven't looked, but week you in, week out. should have told me because I've got like three bags. Oh, it's you that's got it all, is it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that's not to worry. We can just do a normal sort of uh, yeah. a bit of We've got Nutri caps, we've got the tablets, we've got um, compost and the, um, the, compost yeah, is the, the soil key. and everything like that. So we'll go, yeah, full okay. on laden it with that. Sweet. So we're over in the gravel section. Matt has pointed out some of the gravel we've got here. This stuff will work perfect as a base. Nutri base would be better, but this will work as well. Just like a, an area, a, a medium to build everything up yeah. and mix in the nutrients into so it doesn't go kind of like boggy. So that'll be perfect, Matt. Yeah. You might need more than that though. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We've got another couple of boxes, so. I do. Cool. <laughs> oh, just gonna dump it. Go on, dump it. Ready? Yeah, this is when it smashes the bottom. Oh, look at this classy filming. Whoa, whoa, it's wet. Yeah, no, no we can't have that. Take it out. It's wet. It's Damn. fine, it's fine. <laughs> so base layer down on top of that, please, Matt. Have you got aquatic compost? I'm sure you do. Yep. Okay, good. If anyone else wants to get it, they can come here. <laughs> you got lots? Tons. Okay, brilliant. Yep. Always got tons. Let's get that in a nice, good layer over the top of all of that. Then we can put some other things like tabs and that as well. Yep. Like I say, nutri base would have been ideal, but this will still work. We're just gonna have to up the cappage a little bit. But you've got them, so it's fine. Yeah. Right, we're about to put the nutrients in, but Matt's just said the garden centre has got these amazing big pieces of slate. So we're going to go and have a look and yeah. see if it can work in the tank. If it can, we'll use it. If it can't, we'll save it for another escape. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This is the stuff then, yeah? Yeah, I don't know. Like I say, I saw it on the weekend come in. It's pretty nice. It's big, isn't it? Isn't it? But that's what we want. Oh, we've got some big pebbles as well at the back. Yeah, the there, rainbow Matt. pebbles and stuff are quite cool. But yeah, I don't know, just different. I mean, there's plenty here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's only a small fish tank. <laughs> we just laid some out down here. And like, like Matt's just saying. Well, the tank's going to be what, there? 
Yeah, it <laughs> might be a bit too much because it means that if we use that, we can't really do anything else. We've got those big plants to put, put in. The this fish also it. do like to swim a lot because yeah, they're rainbows. This, yep, this is it. They're going to like a movement, so. So yeah. initially it's exciting, but we're thinking now this might be good for the eight foot when we do that at some point. I think so. Some because big imposing bits of slate in that eight it, foot. It will work in there because there's quality. so much space. So yeah, I think we'll save it for that and we'll just go with normal stuff. Normal rock. Let's get back and look at our rock. <laughs> so Matt's thinking, why don't we go for more of a river vibe, seeing as it is rainbows and that. Yeah. So we can do like some bigger pebbles in the foreground, have a bit more of an open foreground, just a few pieces of wood, nothing like groundbreaking, but it should yeah. be really, really good for the fish then, room for the plants and the swim room as well. I think it'd look really nice to have like them and then have the plants creeping in amongst them sort of thing. Some yeah. of the plants, maybe like Liliopsis or something, creeping in amongst all of the pebbles. And then we just need yeah, those. that size, that size. And then we just need a couple of imposing ones. That, we need some big ones. Yeah, they'll be around here somewhere. Okay. Yes. Let's go for it because I like the idea of the swim room for the fish yeah. and the plants and it's going to work together well. And then we just need some wood. Uh, yeah. We wouldn't want spindly. Oh, no. That's a cool piece. I know, but, but it's, it's really just a big. Bit too big. Yeah, it's been here for a while as well. I think everyone picks it up and goes, oh. That is too uh, big. Yeah. Well, maybe. Let's have a look. Could come out the top. Oh, okay. now you're talking. Because if we're going to go for smaller rocks and we need like the big old bit of wood, that does look like something from um, Elden Ring. Yeah, isn't it? One of the weapons or something. Do you know what's funny is I know everything about Elden Ring. Yep. I know where to go, where to do all these different things, how to upgrade, and I've never played it. <laughs> I knew I've you watched were say so that. much stuff on YouTube because I find it fascinating. But I that's never so play funny. it because I know it's game over. There's no yeah. YouTube. Oh yeah, yeah. Just, just, no, just be stuck on it. I yep, yeah, I downloaded a game pass the other week and that was it. That was the end of like I, I think I wasted a whole evening. And then oh, I, you, you've got it? Yeah, I, not oh. Elden Ring, no, oh. I, I what did I download? Um Zoo Tycoon, not Zoo Tycoon, but it's a new Zoo Builder game, and then I downloaded it, Age of Empires. Yeah, and any that, strategy game you That was in, the yeah. end. Yeah, <laughs> any strategy game where I'm building stuff, I'm happy. This is not fish tanks. No, anyway, Sorry. let's go look at this wood. <laughs> okay, will this work? I mean, I'm sure we can find a way to make it work. The light's back. I'll go the other way, Matt, just because this is the way we oh, yeah, come yeah. in. It does just fit. It's pretty cool. Even if we do it, it's just as the one. You could even do it like that, yeah. That's quite cool. It, we could trim off the back, couldn't we? Yeah, Have yeah. you got anything for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a couple of saws and stuff. So yeah. if, we, if we just trim off those back nubbins... Yeah, move it right into that back, back corner. And it'll be easy to clean in, because that's yeah. going to be not possible. That's going to look cool. And then just with those cobbles... A few cobbles around it. It literally looks like it's falling in. I think just keep it as the one. Yeah, no, I think that'd work cool. And then we've got all the swords background, and we can build up the area and bank it as well. Yeah. So it's like staggered down. Maybe yeah. a few crypts and stuff coming out, or yeah. Liliopsis or Liliopsis something. Liliopsis will work well, because it'll go the similar greens to yeah. the uh, oh, yeah. sword. That'd look nice. Okay, let's get those bits cut off. Yeah, Matt said he was going to get the saw, right. and I thought he meant like a proper saw. Uh, it should work, shouldn't it? What do you mean a proper saw? You know, like a, like a proper hand saw. That one looks like something you just carve off a little bit of a bush or something. No, that's a pruning saw. Okay, it might yeah. work. What, in this solid... Yeah, it will work. We'll just be here a while. Yeah, we'll three have to take days it later. Yeah. Okay, the moment of truth. Does Ooh. it fit? It fits, and we can angle it. Um, Sorry, I, I did the honours. Oh. <laughs> it looks good though, doesn't it? Look? No, I don't like it. No, that looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's horrible. Yeah, Should like we be more horizontal or just like that? Uh, well, it is quite horizontal, yeah, I mean. I think. Because you could put rocks under, yeah, like more you like. You could bring it up, couldn't you? I feel like that looks a bit more natural. Yeah, looks like it's falling in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's put some rocks underneath it. Take it out and then we put the rock layer in. Like, you remember we did before oh, the I rainbow? I get to do it this time, do I, think? Yeah, you could do it next time. <laughs> okay, let's, get, get, let's collect up the rocks we can. We need those bigger ones as well. A couple of bigger ones. We can steal those from the tanks, can't we? Yeah, do we want display? some substrate and sand in as well? We do indeed. Let's do that first. Yeah, because the, the Cause I seem to have forgotten how to do this. Yeah, you, you, you're, you're skipping a step here. <laughs> so this is the stuff, if you guys are wondering. Oh, we're upside down. <laughs> Premium aquatic soil, so it's basically what they put in the baskets um, for like plants in the pond so that yep. it can just sit there weighted down, isn't it? Yep. And it's it's had all of a lot of organics, floated organics removed, which means that it's just left with the good bit that we want. Yep. It works really well. It's just remembering to cap it. Cap it. And less is it. more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you need to cap it, of course, otherwise the bits of it will still float. Yep. 
but if you do disturb it a little bit, I found that it's okay. A little bit coming up through the sand, yep. it's not like normal compost where your whole tank is now screwed. Yeah, that's You get it. away with it because it's designed for underwater use. Right, so that would work, Matt, wouldn't it? But um, I think we need to just bump it up a little bit um, and add some, some caps to it. So we've got some... some yeah, we've got some... I know you haven't got my uh, API root tabs, which would be obviously the best. Uh, can't get them in this country. You can't get them in this country, no. Um, sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we've got some root tabs. We've got, yeah, some bits and pieces that we can chuck in for more nutrients, definitely. Wicked. Let's just dot them everywhere and then we're covered. This is some kind of joke. You wanted rocks, didn't you? I know I wanted rocks. So I went out to the storeroom and got rocks. Look at this. <laughs> Just one. Plop. Oh, uh, do, do you think, it, like thinking about it, it would be really, really cool. Actually, I know we said already about the other slate, but yeah. how good would that all be? Part? No, we're not doing that today. Yeah, let's get it over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, we, we don't need all of these, Matt. No, I know. Just I a brought selection. you a selection. Yeah, plus it means they're uh, for future, yeah. Absolutely. I'm thinking this one at the back straight away. Yep. And this one as well. Yeah. The others might be way. Look at the size. <laughs> well, I can go get smaller ones. I just I went for I went for quantity. You you know you know what I like. <laughs> Absolutely. Right, before we do that, actually, we just need to cap the top of this yeah, off we, with some sand. Yeah, we do need some sand. Um, <laughs> have we got the right sand? The right sand? You know the one I like. The riverbed one. The river one. Yeah. The river oh. style. <laughs> No, we just had a delivery no, in yesterday. He's got it. He's got it. That's the stuff. Yeah. Right. See, because this stuff is a bit too white and grey, and that it's just got that sort of yellowy hint to it that I think best. Do you, do you agree? Hang on, I'm just deciding. Do you agree? No, no, I, For I this agree. type of setup. Absolutely, I agree with you. Yeah, I think yeah. this is the one. Okay, yeah, it's cool. nice. Easily going to need this whole bag. Yeah. You need do. to bank it up more or not. No, because those plants are going to be too They're high. They're tall, aren't they? Yeah. Faster? <laughs> I bet you can go a bit faster than that. But... <laughs> are you trying to be like arty? ASMR. Fish keeping. Right, that's everything capped. Look, there's a really, really good amount on top there. A good inch. We also compacted or, or patted down the, um, the compost underneath. So it's, it's all solid. Now we can have a go with these rocks. Matt really wants to try one of these big ones. I'm with him. Let's go for it. If it doesn't work, we can take it out, but well, it, that is huge. We might not. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> Once heavy. it's in there, it might be staying there forever. Yeah, yeah that'll do. We're not going to do bog, we're just doing rock. I mean, it would work. Would work. Would work. No, we don't <laughs> want woodwork. Oh, I nearly rolled forwards. <laughs> oh, that's cool as well, because it's got that. Yeah, that's some nice texture to it. And there's room behind it. Yeah. It's just whether that wood's going to fit in. The good thing is the light will be forwards as well. Yeah. I think we're onto something. It doesn't look that big now it's in the tank. No. Too forward? No, I think that was all right. It depends how much room we want, but I quite like that. <laughs> Natural fool. Yeah, we are. What do you want? I don't know now. Take your pick. I want, do we need to test the wood before putting more rock in? Nah. You're going for it. Screw it. <laughs> You're committed now. Yeah, yeah. Good shout. We will need, in that gap, yeah. another one will be good as well. Yeah, I yeah. Cut I, think, that. I think we need something behind it with a slight bit of height. Oh, it's a great little pile. Yeah? Yeah, I like that. See that? Yeah, I'm loving that. I think we just go with it. Quite often with these capes, guys, when you're at this point, you can do so much moving around. At some point, you just got to go with it. There's no correct answer. No. And, and you take it out and you put it back in, it'd be different again and again and again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just commit and fill it up with so many plants you can't see it. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna give the wood a go? Uh, yeah. Go on then, stick it in. <laughs> That literally isn't, wasn't deliberate. Uh, Childish. Now, the problem is there's so many prongs on this. Yeah. We're going to have to find how. Find, find the perfect bit. See, that loses a lot of detail on that yeah. side because it's quite flat. Keep going, keep going. I think that's cool. Is that, is, there's a couple of, like... We can cut some prongies, though, Yeah, I think so. Jump back so the light goes on it. Hang on. I've just got to make sure. There we go. It's stood up now. Yeah, there's a prong those two bits underneath. Okay, so if we cut those two bits, that's gonna look really nice if we can drop that down on top of that rock. Yeah. 
and then we can fill in that sort of void. See the void there? Yeah. Because that looks a bit weird. We can fill that with a nice big Amazon sword in that area. Yep. Matt's also talking about getting a peace lily coming at the top, so that will work as well. I think yeah, we I th might need two lights. Yeah, well, if you think well, we do, I'm we will. Well, just thinking, look. Because the background's going to be darkened. When you've got that, you're going to need something for those Amazon swords at the back. All right, if it needs it, it needs it. And it does because of the amount of hardscape. A bit like the other rainbow fish we did it in my studio, we yeah. needed it, didn't we? So, yeah. so we've taken off the little nubbins and Matt's added the second light. So the whole area is lit now. What are you thinking? I like it a lot. Yep, I think once I was just looking at these gaps and making sure that there's things that we've got to fill in the gaps, but I think it'll work a treat. But to be fair, we don't have to fill in the gaps. I mean... No, no, a little bit of negative space is nice. Exactly, and there does need to be a place for the fish to swim all the way around. So yeah. maybe we do just leave that bit as it Amazon is. Amazon swords and then something shorter in front, maybe. Yeah, exactly, so they can go all the way around the back then. But we need way more details. We've got lots of smaller ones, uh, like more like pebbles, I guess. Yeah, yeah, they? little cobbles and pebbles and stuff like that, so we can scatter them in amongst it. And then proper scatter. It's and gonna be like a river base. Pretty much, yeah. And then we'll just put the Liliopsis brasiliensis in key points and just let it come out over time, which it will because we've got so many nutrients under there. So that's why it's, you never know where you're gonna plant, do you? So it's good to just assume it's gonna go everywhere, yeah. like we did, and yeah, oh, I can't wait now. The Let's roots will find it. At the end of the oh, day, yeah, they're not they traveling do. a million miles, are they? No, you no, know, no. If you've got a root tab under that rock, it's only four or five inches away from the plant. So yeah, I think it'll work a treat. The roots can actually grow faster than the plant sometimes as well, yeah. especially on initial setup. So, yeah. yeah, let's keep going. I'm, I'm keen to get this like real detailed before we get drunk. <laughs> That's a joke, by the way. Yeah, I'm in uniform today. Don't get me in trouble. No, exactly. <laughs> You're not in my studio now. No, not allowed. <laughs> So we've just done all of our nice detail pebbles and stuff. Matt has stuck a huge rock. Right in the end of this piece of wood is a hole. So now you can just see the rock poking at the top. And it's making it heavy at that end, so it's lifting it up. So I'm adding that other rock you can see in the background there, which ties in quite nicely actually and gives us more contact points. So we can then glue it to it on this side, because otherwise it's just going to keep doing that. Uh, I did try and find something just to lean against that, so we didn't have to glue, because who can be bothered to wait for the glue? Uh, I didn't bring my activator, so... Um, I need to order a bottle of that, I yeah. keep forgetting. Yeah, it's not cheap, but it, it lasts a long time. Oh uh, yeah, you, yeah, you've had the same bottle for ages, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. So. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna try and glue it now. Hopefully it sticks. If not, we'll just find another solution. Well, we've had a bit of lunch. We've come back. All the wood is completely solid. It's not going anywhere now, so I've managed to remove some of the ugly rocks that were in there. <laughs> oh, poor ugly rock. <laughs> they, they, were, they weren't looking good. Anyway, but now we can start with the planting. We're not going crazy with like loads of different types, are we, Matt? No, no, keeping no. it fairly simple. Um, we're just gonna go with like big swords and then Liliopsis all in the foreground because we really want the fish to stand out. Um, we've got plenty of plants though, haven't we? I, I say think... this now that we're only going to have that, but there's quite a good selection over there. There's always a good selection. Danny orders everything. So that's you end true. up going, oh, that's nice and that's nice and yeah. Okay, let's have a look. It's Obviously, smart. we've got all this. Wait a second with that. Show us the swords first. The swords? The swords. One of them's floated. Yeah, that's because you just pulled it out. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're looking good quality. It's some great height on them. Now, a lot of these leaves will actually die off but there is some that's coming through already. Some people suggest that you just hack it all off and let it grow back, but why? It's yeah. gonna look great straight away. Just let it die back naturally. Yeah. Take the dead leaves out as they go back. And I think so. Hopefully you'll replace them with new immersed growth. Immersed? It, emerged. Yeah. Immer no, emerged is out. Immer no, that's, immer immer immersed is out. Are you saying immersed, immersed or immersed? with an I. Oh my goodness, this is difficult. Under the water. <laughs> Under the water. <laughs> Under the water leaves. <laughs> and we've got loads of them as well. Look at yeah. that lot. Okay, we don't need that many. I need to just yeah. calm it down. Yeah, maybe we do. <laughs> See, now your more is more. Oh, yeah, yeah, all the time. Now you've taught me more is more. That's your problem. <laughs> That's your fault. Here's the issue I'm having, though, Matt. This lot is stocked right up as well. Yeah. Like, so, yeah, you've got some nice... Pinter feeders there. Yeah, you've got Pogostamon as well. Um, Polysperm is always a nice, easy yeah. grower. Ludwigia green as well. Yeah. Hydrocottle Japan or tripa 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 Yep. Tipa, 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 We've, tipa, got tipa, tipa. We've got options. Where's the Liliopsis? We've got Liliopsis pots down through this row. There it is. That's going to be the good creeper in the foreground. Um, I don't think I've got any more, actually. That's it at the moment. Okay, we don't need a huge amount. No, so. you just need some pockets of it, don't we you? We don't need a we huge got... amount. Listen to me. 
Oh yeah, I, for I always forget about this we've one. We've got some booses and some... Yes, we do. Yeah, we've got some different bits and pins. We've got crinums. These are quite nice, the bogwoods that have already got yeah. the like epiphytes attached. They're great, aren't they? Which just is to... quite interesting because Matt's just set up one. Yes. It's going to be on his channel soon, actually, isn't it, Matt? It will, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, Show them. Hopefully by the weekend. I'm walking backwards, this is scary. Sorry. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we've yeah. just done this one. So Matt just set this one up because uh, the shop got sent this immense piece of bogwood with everything already attached. Yeah, done. And you can, they can buy the, this or yeah, a yeah, version that one. of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they want that one, we are selling that one. There was only three that came into the UK. So this is one of three that were the only ones. So yeah, we awesome. managed to get one. Great little setup you've done here as well, look, Matt. It's nice, isn't it? Real simple, because it's focused. Well, it doesn't need a lot more. No. It's just fit, isn't it? And we were very lucky in the fact that we saw the photo of it and we're like, well, where are we going to put it? Oh, the Sienna, the Sienna would be working. Because this was cleared out for me, but obviously I've been you everywhere would, and... You took too long. I took too long. I've had enough of you now. <laughs> yeah. But you've done a great setup, especially the Cardinals. Yeah, we went um, with just some stacked slate, very simple and yeah. You know I love a cardinal. <laughs> yeah, this is it. That's why we've done it for you. We had to keep you happy one way and I knew that me setting up the tank without you was going to make you grumpy. I can't so believe you've done that. At least I put the cardinals in to try and sort of keep you happy. It's a cool, simplistic aquascape that anyone yeah. can easily do. Plop and drop, innit? Pretty much, yeah, this is it. And that's the nice thing with the planted bogwood. You know, if you've got a two foot tank, yeah. two foot bit of planted bogwood, couple of rocks, job done, simple. Yeah, yeah. Some people don't want the complication, do they? So this, no. this sort of stuff works really well for that. Look, at you've got all these new leaves already. That's not from well, being in here, is it? No, I think it's just where they were popping out. They were already unfurling when they were coming in. So I think they're just sort of settling in now. Unfurling. Unfurling, did you great, like that? Great you? word. Um, well, let's get the plants in. Okay. A few different species down here as well. We've got Blaheri and Panaculatus. It's so hard to tell the difference until they're submerged, isn't it? Because yeah. out of water, they're very similar. Yeah. Are we really going for this many, Matt? I don't know, yeah, maybe. I, you told me I just needed more picking them out, so there you go. I don't even know. I, it's going to look good if they're all at the back, isn't it? Yeah. I think a big wall of them. I think we go for it. Ah. A baby one. <laughs> ah. Look at the baby. So what you can do here, guys, if you get this, is you just snip it there. Wait for the roots to grow. And then, no, they still will. Well, yeah, but they're better. If they start yeah, if sending they down roots, it it's easier, isn't on it? On those, it won't be long, because that's oh, come yeah. from the water. You know, that's from being submerged, isn't it? No, maybe not. Maybe not. I think that one has done that naturally, isn't it, out yeah. of water? But it still will do it, won't it? If, yeah, yeah. if you leave that, it will start get rooting. Roots. We might be able to train it up on that board at the back, where that wooden board is. If we well, get a load of the babies, we can train them out of the water and yeah. start growing them up that board. Like a mother plant. Yeah, And then much. you can use them all in the display tanks. That would be quality. I mean, it, it wouldn't last very long in there, but... <laughs> yeah, anyway, let's do some planting. <laughs> you got all of them? Not oh all my of goodness. them. <laughs> There's anyway. quite a lot. I don't know if we, even, we need that many, to be honest. Yeah, it's a decent size, it's a decent size. Let's just get them planted and then we can have a look after. So in the end, we uh, we did go for all of the Amazon swords, and I think that's great. It's going to look like a like, like a proper little forest. I think so. It's like it's got a real natural look to it. You're saying to Matt, there's something about when you use just one plant, uh, it does create a more sort of real feel to it. I'm loving that open foreground. I would like a little bit of detail. I still think we should go with the Liliopsis yep. in that foreground. It's a similar kind of green, so it's not going to look too sort of odd. Yeah, look. Yeah, I think that'll work. Not too much, just a few tufts, you yep, know? that's it, spring. Oh, hang on, do we want, we want more scatter gravel first, though, I think, Yeah, Matt. a little bit of scatter. The only other thing I brought over... Some was, crypts? ...was crypt. I wonder if that gave it a middle... Mi yeah, step down. Yeah, yeah, the sort of thing. So they might push back, or maybe in the wood, or in the, between the rocks there. I think that'll work quite well. Okay, let's get some scatter in. Yep. And then we definitely get some of that in as well. So Matt's going to get some scatter gravel, but I just want to hide these points here. I wasn't going to put any plants in this area because I think the wood looks so great I want it to be like a standalone piece but I'm really not liking those glue points but they were necessary so I've got some nice pieces of Anubias doesn't really go with the theme that much but it's going to do a job and it's going to make it look a lot better so I've put this one I'm, piece I'm, in I'm and back. Matt and Cheryl who's now preparing us some more. So we all agreed that that looks weird. So we're gonna put a couple more points of Anubius. Yeah, I think we need one. Of, yeah, definitely one there. Maybe, maybe one, one, that one top up corner. here somewhere. Yeah. And then that'll be enough. And then the Liliopsis and then fill up and fish. 
it done. Won't be, it won't be fish today. We'll cut back to that. But uh, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll come yeah, back when it's running absolutely perfect. We've got really good lighting, though. This this is going to flourish. Yeah, it's going to do well, isn't it? You I would reckon, have thought so with those two. Yeah, and all those Amazon swords are just going to be like. Oh yeah, what would be cool is if they start going out the water, and like Matt said, they've got this, uh, like the pup there. They call it a pup, yeah. Yeah, if you want to call it a pup. I'm calling it a great. pup. Eventually, these will grow so tall out that they'll be all overflowing. Yeah, I reckon it, we that's might. not true because I would have broken it down by then. Yeah, it won't have that long, will it? But if you did this at home, for instance, that's what would happen. To be fair, we keep our scapes a lot longer in here because you, you forget about us, don't you, every now and again? I forget about you. Mm. Sorry, is there just a whole, <laughs> whole scape there that I wasn't involved in? Which like, looks were, great. Which off, looks great. You were so off gallivanting. I wasn't even in the country, was yeah, I? Yeah, so. exactly. I couldn't, I couldn't keep it in a box for a week. It would be dead, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, it would have been melted. Sort of shell? Nice one. Okay, do you want to put them in? No, no, no. No, no, okay, I'll, we'll do that. Boom, there we go, nice and simple. Right now, time for some foreground plants, Liliopsis resiliensis. Don't get the hose pipe. Matt's getting the water. Do you want me right, to stay on? I'm just walking no, you're past fine, the you're pond. Fine. You keep going. I'm going to keep talking. I'm going to keep talking while I go and get the hose oh, pipe. Oh no, turn it off. Because I want to keep be talking. Really annoying. Because I know it'll be really annoying for you to edit. <laughs> I'm going to keep talking as I go to get the hose pipe. How can I'm I come? Right. So as Jamie has just pointed out, a very clean look, and that's deliberate. We wanted that sort of fresh look out here, right in the entrance. But the fish now, because we've only got green plants, are really, really going to stand out. Matt's going to fill it up, get it clear for us, get some AccuClear in there, and then it'll be ready for fish. Right, it's a fresh new day. The tank is looking like <laughs> proper nice. Uh, Matthew, Matt's done a water change. Matthew? <laughs> All right. <laughs> like he's in trouble. Yeah, uh, isn't it? Matt's done a water change this morning, and we've also got the filters fitted. You need to know about the filter, obviously, as well. What have we got? We've so got the Oise 350? 350, yeah, Biomaster. So Biomaster. it's a little bit over filtered in here, but that's perfect because, yeah, just means it's less work. <laughs> I do. Uh, and so inlet and outlet. So the inlet, yeah, into the filters in the back corner there. There you go. So it's yep. nice on there. You can't see it. And then we've nice. just got a little um, nozzle rather than the spray bar. We've just put the elbow on it so that it just pushes water out. Yeah, so we've got 45, uh, sorry, for, yeah, 45 degrees going out across the tank, and that should be plenty of filtration. You actually would, you could actually have this next size down filter, couldn't you, for that yeah, yeah, size absolutely. tank, to be honest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always, it's one of those things, I always overdo the filtration, because why yeah, not? It, makes it, it does make it easier. And what is it at the time? It's an extra 20, 30 quid. You yeah, know, it's yeah. not a massive amount to step up in size. Plus, we're going to have some, some good, good amount of uh, rainbows and stuff in here. They're going to yeah. produce waste, so it's going to deal with that easy. Uh, this filter's also got a pre-filter, haven't they, that you can yep. take out and clean. Um, yes, I, this is not selling Oase, but they make a good product, so we should say. And also, also got a he heater um, built in as well. So yeah, it means you don't have to have all of that in your tank. Yeah, that's it. And if you wanted to, you can put like the glass lily pipes on there if you wanted yeah, to, to make yeah. it even cleaner. You can hardly see these, so I've not bothered. I was going to, but no, I, no, you're yeah, right. You're you don't right. really gonna, need it on this Especially one. when those uh, swords grow up even taller at the back there. That's going to fill that in. You're not going <laughs> to be able to see anything. So. Are we still set on the same fish? I think so, yeah. yeah. Good, because yeah. I was... Um, I think the millennium rainbows are lovely on the bottom row. I yeah, think. Let's go look, yeah. let's go look, let's go show them. So, we got, so we're going to go for some rainbows, for yep. sure. There was, was there four types? Uh, there, there's many types, but I don't know which ones we ended up picking. I like the millenniums. Yes, for So sure. these are like a, a mini red rainbow fish, so they don't get as big as the big boys. But yeah, the males are just really nice. A little bit of a different colour as well, that red, so I think they'll be nice. Yep. Then we had... Do you like that one? <laughs> it's the one that's staying still. Uh, then we had, we did have Madagascans as well. Yeah. So they're a little bit different to what you've had in your rainbow fish tank. And there's some blues in there. Yeah, there's some blues in there as well. This there. What else wasn't there? Oh. There was Bozeman's. Yeah, Bozeman's up in there. You've got to have some Bozeman's, haven't we? Especially this one. <laughs> just that one. Not just that one, but you know what I mean. Well, you've got earth eaters. Oh yeah, that'd be great in there. No, I mean, no, I mean <laughs> remember I was asking you about a tank. Yeah, so we've got, we keep a lot of earth eaters in stock. They're just always small. So we've got like, um, what are those? Surinams? Yeah, so they're Surinams. Rio Negros. Are they the red tails? 
No, they you know, get one that's got like, the long wispy tail. That comes All of up. them will have that eventually. Oh, they do. Yeah, as long oh, as they okay. don't get nipped. In theory, the majority of geophagus will have those extensions. Okay. Um, there is one that's called a threadfin earth eater, which isn't an earth eater. It's an archaeryctes, but you know, um, potato, potato. <laughs> We're now having discussion about yeah, a tank I've not even created. No, you're not even doing it. I like these, Juraparai, they're my favourite, but they're really plain, so it's a bit like, I just like them. Oh, as a, oh yeah, you, uh, look at them. Munch, munch, munch on the yeah. soil. But Strat anyway, sand. anyway um, yeah, I think that was it, wasn't it? Those, those, those. I was talking about glass caps, but I don't know if just to keep it rainbow fish. Why not? And yeah. then more rainbow fish. And more rainbow fish. A hundred like, rainbow fish. I just like the glass cats because they're weird looking. I think customers will like them as they come in through the door and be like, what on earth is that? If you want to put a few in, will they stay out in the open or will they try They'll, and hide? In amongst the plants and stuff. They're, they're, um, they're a shoaling catfish, so they are more out in the open. They will swim like a rainbow fish, to be fair. Okay. Well, if you want to put them in, we'll put them in. Let's do it then. Okay, let's, let's, let's bag them. We don't bag them up. Let's collect them up just and there. just put them in. Yeah. yeah. Here's Martin doing all the work for us. Look. <laughs> Matt was on the phone, I've been chatting, I've been but busy. we've got everything collected, well we're collecting everything up. So we've got... Madagascans. Yeah. <laughs> Millenniums. <laughs> Moher Island. This is the Katiba Blues. Yeah, we're getting and blues we've and then we've got the Bozemans as well. Oh, okay. I'm so not put... allowed to have my glass catfish in there. You can have your glass. No, I don't. I think all rainbows are going to look cooler. Okay, alright, we'll go with that. Because then if we have, don't have the catfish, we can have more rainbows yep. and it is a rainbow tank, so... Yeah. I think it's going to look really good. The idea being is that quite a lot of the rainbows, when they sit in the tanks like this, they don't ever really colour up. It takes more time, more feeding. So if there's a display at the front that's showing how good they are, people are going to be more tempted to go, I will get the rainbows. They look like this now, yeah. but you know, give them a little bit of time. Not even that much time no, in, no, in a home tank. All. It's just getting them settled. It is literally, yeah. once they've got a tank where they've got some plants and being settled, then away they go. They do colour up in there, but it's just yeah, nowhere near as much as we need them to to sell them. Yeah, as well as you could. Mm. They oh, sell, yeah. but They like... sell, yeah, they trickle through. But yeah, if you were to see the eventual colours of them all, oh my word, yeah, we'd sell hundreds. Yeah, and that's what we're going to do. So uh, you pick whatever ones you want first, Matt. Right, what are you putting in first, Matt? Uh, fish. <laughs> these are rainbow fish. Yeah, but what, what ones? These are Madagascans. So these are going to be the biggest ones because the oh. Madagascans get to like 15 centimetres. Okay. So these will be slightly bigger. Uh, these pots don't really fit, if I'm honest. Make it work. Make it wet. Let's go. Hang on. If I give them to you, you've got more space. <laughs> we should have planned this a bit better. Yeah, we should have. There you go. Go, my buddies. Yeah, so the males will be the slightly more redder ones. Again, they're going to be a little bit stressed for the minute, but yeah. by the time... This one, I know, had really good colour in, in the tank there, so they're going to be fine. You can see right. the colours already. Let's keep going. Next one. And what's these ones, Matt? Millenniums. So these are a different species. Millennium. No. I was thinking that. <laughs> So oh, these yes. will be red. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Even now they're red, so they're going to get way more red. Yeah, you can seem see happy, look. Yeah, yeah, they're going to look good. Oh, this is going to look cool. Next. Yeah. Doesn't get exciting until the fish are in, does it? No. Yeah, you couldn't do it without fish. It'd be a bit boring, wouldn't it? It'd be a it? terrible fish tank. Yeah. <laughs> these are blues, aren't they? These are blues, yep. Or turquoise, or blue. Uh, yeah, it depends. Common names, but yeah, it's they're blues, so they'll get the gold stripe for the males across the head. Yeah, I've got two. The they're blue. amazing. They go so, so good. Oh yeah, these colours are going to look great. The fact that they're getting colourful now means they're only going to get better. These are Bozeman's rainbows. Awesome, an absolute favourite, isn't yeah. it? So these... Such a, like, an amazing fish. Absolute staple for a rainbow tank. Yeah, have to have that. P yeah. People will be mo most people who don't know rainbows are going to be drawn to the Bozeman's, aren't they? Yeah, that yellow and blue is just amazing. You can't get that yellow and blue in any other fish, really. And these are my favourites. So I want these at home. These are Moa Islands. So they're little black pinstripes with then yellow fins. And I, yeah, they're just so cool. They're like they little got pinstripe suits on. Why Moa Island? What's that? I think that's the island they're from, I would Specific assume. Specific island? Yeah, yeah, so it's an island variety. So um, like, oh, wow. as in, there are different ones. You get different ones with like Skull Creek and um, different that's ones specific? like that. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Because the, the colours can change from river to river to river. So yeah. sometimes you'll get Bozeman's and you'll get two or three different types of Bozeman's from different area locations because the coloration will be slightly different. They're settling in already, look at this. That little shoal of them down in that corner there where they're buzzing around looks wicked. Yeah, I think that's right. I don't think we need more than that look because once, once they, they all start grow. coming, yeah, they grow and they're going to be coming all in the foreground when they get more comfortable like now. 
get used to the feeding. They're very, very social fish, aren't they, the rainbows? And like, yeah. every time you go in, like mine follow me around the tank. Yeah, they absolutely. literally follow. Yeah, they're a bit, they've got a character to them, definitely. They're a little bit more, because they're a bigger fish, they've got a bit more personality. Yeah, adding all those pots in, the water's <laughs> right at the top. Need to bring that down, I find, with rainbows, because if you've got an open top, come down a little bit further than usual. Not too much, they're not, they're not like, not massively they're not launch jumpy. themselves. No, out, it's but. when they chase each other. Obviously, they can be a little bit sort of, um, yeah, chasey when they're spawning and things like that. So it's, yeah, worth dropping the water level a little bit. This, this, this uh, the millennium, millennium, isn't it? Yeah, millennium. The millennium yeah. is just so red. So they're related to the proper red rainbow, but the proper red rainbow gets big. Massive, yeah. Um, and looks, in all honesty, a little bit ugly when they grow up. Yeah, they do look funny, don't they? Yeah, they're like a discus with a beak on the front. They're yeah. a bit strange. The Bozeman, though. They look settled already, look. If yeah. I just come back a bit, look. Just the way they're already chasing each other and working out hierarchies, and you can see them giving each other a little bit of a chase. And they're just gonna get more and more color as well, for sure. Like, mine were like this when I got them, and now, and most of you have seen, they're so colorful. I'll put some clips up over the top now of what they do go like, just so you guys know, but these are very juvenile, really, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you've had yours for quite a while now, though, haven't you? Yeah, really? probably, when did we get? Probably had them for like a year and a half to two years. Yeah, yeah. So wow. Yeah, it's, well, they're the only ones that have. Mm -hmm. No, I have my discus for yes. over two years. Yeah, yeah. And I really want to do a discus. Do I announce what we've got planned? I think I should build the height. It's a hype. few weeks away, but yeah, I reckon it's a few we could. weeks we've away. We've got a bit of a plan. We've got a plan. That whole eight foot that you can see here, which is currently the African River tank. Excuse the reflections. There's not a lot we can do about that. It's summertime, very bright, but it's going to be an eight-foot planted discus aquarium. Skittles discus, <laughs> fifty of them. They are juveniles, so um, fifty would be a good number, and we can whittle down as they grow or sell them. But what a great thing as you come in the shop. So I'm stood right here. Is the entrance? You come through, and you've got an eight-foot tank that's got fifty discus in. I mean, how cool would that be? Yeah, lots fully planted as well. Yep, like lots of green. Lots of everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, some yellow, some blue, some red, some... Oh, yeah, it would look amazing. Can't wait for that. But, yeah. yeah. All right, we've just added some AccuClear just to get it absolute crystal. So there's a slight sort of haze to it, but that'll be gone within the hour because we've got really good filtration. So, But we're also having a look at the tank now. Now, they're schooling really nicely together, aren't they, Matt? Yeah. But we're thinking we need something else down the bottom, something a bit of interest, it, interest for it. And you have got those Pandagara. Yes, we've got some nice Pandagara. They'd be cool going amongst the rocks and stuff. And they'll love the round round rocks as well, won't oh, they? So, yeah, yeah, they'll graze off of them. Um, so yeah, they'd be a good shout, a little group of them. Anything else? I was, wondering if, I was wondering some Corydoras or something like that, just to scuttle around the bottom. Okay. Just to add a little bit of interest, but I don't know what species we've got, so we might have to have a bit of a mooch and have a look. Okay. Oh, look at all the Pandagara. There's tons of them. Yeah, there's loads of little babbies. Whoa. Yeah, definitely want some of those, yeah? Yeah, get a little group of them in, because they'll, you know, they'll grow like nine, 10 centimeters, so they'll get to a decent size, but they, they're quite slow growing normally, so. I'm guessing you'll add bristle nose and stuff at some point. Bristle nose, it's the Garrus might do it for us, to be Actually, fair. Yeah, 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 they might, they might be able to do it. If it's yeah. a good enough group of them. Shame we haven't got a load more of those loaches, that's a shame. We've got some down mm -hmm. here. Big peppered down there. Yeah. That'd be nice. We've got some Leopolds, albinos, bronzes, well, so, there. Like, these long fins, aren't they? Long fin, uh, look at the rear yes, fin. Yes, there is a long fin. That is definitely, yeah, long fin. Crikey. <laughs> quite cute. Yeah, it's quite cool. I don't know if I want albino, though. No. Not sure. <laughs> Got some baby stir by. Oh, no, but... Baby similis. Jamie's making a mess. Some very baby pandas. Yeah. <laughs> and some adults as well. Yeah. <laughs> Not feeling pandas? Uh, maybe. Venezuelan orange, have we got them in a tank yet? We haven't in any of the shop here, um, but they would look really good against the substrate. And they would. With those lighter rocks. They would show up a bit more, wouldn't they? They'd go more orange as well with the mm. greens and stuff in the tank. I think that could be a good shout. I reckon that. I reckon the, the Panagara and the Venezuelans. Yeah, nice. Sounds like a little bit different, isn't it? Yes. Because it was either going to be, we filled them out, filled out the bottom part of the tank with some different fish, like, you know, bottom feeders, or add more rainbows. and. If you add more rainbows, it, it might detract from like the individuals because there's yeah. so many. I think that's it. I think that's the hardest thing. It would be nice, but and obviously the rainbows have got a lot of time to grow as well. So, yeah, yeah. you know, it's not like they're fully grown. It's not like we're putting in cardinals or something where they're pretty much done when you put them in. But, but, but 
I, I feel like Corey's had a sort of calmness to a tank as well. Yeah, they're quite a cute little fish. They do, yeah, they definitely add a bit of character to it. Matt's got the fish. What, what's that, Pandagara first? This is Pandagaras. Right, stick them in. It's going to add a lot. Like I say, still a bit murky, but uh, that's going to clear shortly. Oh, I wasn't even filming. There we go. Have you not? I was looking at the rocks for some reason. Down they come. And they've all gone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give them some time, they'll be fine. And then uh, Venezuelan, Venezuelan Corridoras. Yeah, off. Venezuelan orange. Orange. I love these little guys. Whoa, they're off. And in true How many did you do? Um, it was a little group. We put a little group in the pee puffer tank that we um, had. When we shut it down, we kept the little group separate. So, yeah, I think there's like 12. It's the best to keep them all back together again. Yeah, well, so I, was, I looked at the tank and there was 12 in there and we haven't done a price for them yet to sell them. So I was like, well, that saves us doing work on pricing. <laughs> <laughs> just catch them all back out and use them again. The, awesome. They had started spawning as well in the pee puffer tank, so really? uh, yeah, we might get a few eggs and a few babies, maybe. We're quite lucky because they're like mature, they're really good colours. Yeah. That orange really does pop. You can see why they are called it. Yes. <laughs> yeah.